Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Underrail Expedition. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today as we go into the Protectorate uh, and uh, plant a borrower. I, I, I know. It's, an, it's a cybernetic borrower. It's a cutesy one. It's also friendly, so it's gonna be fine. It's probably a spy device more than sabotaging them completely. I need to be close to a vent. However, oh, there's a vent over there. However, people will see me. Hello, sir. Do not cause any trouble. I will not, for sure, at all. So, last episode, we um, did a mission for the scrappers, which is pretty cool. Uh, and uh, that guy's gonna see me, isn't he? Hey, could you please not look over here? Because I... Seriously, though. Okay. I wonder if he is gonna see me. I mean, he should see me. Oh! <gasps> Save, save. Shh. We have a little Bugsy. It's right there. You put the creature on the ground, but it quickly skitters back up your leg and into the pocket it previously claimed. It doesn't seem to want to stay here. What? What do you mean he doesn't seem to want to stay here? Didn't he want a vent? I mean, I'm an idiot, though. I, I realize that. Because the, um... That, that, that sort of has a fan in that vent. I'm, I'm not surprised. Can't say I'm surprised that it didn't want to stay in there. However, it is... Oh, these are the ventilation shafts. Oh, hi. So... I can talk to Lieutenant Garen to report the security threat. Ah, that's how I do it. Can I help you with something? Okay, yeah, this might sound silly, but I have a favor to ask. I think I've lost something in the ambassador's office. I had it on me before I went there, but it's gone. Can't find it anywhere, since I feel it would be highly disrespectful, disrespectful of me to come through his office for this. T to me, a very important item. Would you be so kind to go in and take a look? I'd really appreciate it. And this item is... Um... Uh, it's a black marble. Added on me since I was a kid. It means a lot to me. I don't... Well, the ambassador is... And you, you understand. He makes a brief pause. Okay, I'll take a look. Please wait here. Oh, thank you very much. I'll wait for you. You lift the creature to the ventilation shaft and it quickly grapples and squeezes through. That's gonna be impossible to open. This also is definitely not the way of doing this. It's for spying, it must be. This is gonna lead to. It's gonna. Lead to unforeseen consequences, is all I'm saying. Okay. Maybe. I don't think I'll be back in time. There's a locker. Stuffed bat, canned mushrooms. Nothing amazing. Okay, let's go back. Clearly, let's go back. Yeah, I, don't, I sort of don't need that at all to go in there. I just, I, I mean, I, I saw the opportunity. Also, he's looking for a black marble. How long? Hi! Uh, hi. I'm sorry, but I wasn't able to find your, um, marble. I'm gonna bow my head down and turn to leave, depressingly waving the deputy goodbye. Are we okay? Can I help with something? I think we are okay help you with anything, wouldn't you say more? Didn't mean to start combat, I pressed enter to twice, because I wanted to go in here. So we did that, which means we can go back to Abram and uh, tell him the good news, or bad. But before I do that, depends on, you know, I don't know if it's bad or, or good. 
Uh, before I do that, I do want to go and do the thing that I meant to do. Working, continuing my, our work for the scrappers. We are going to go back to the back alley that where we killed... I don't remember her name. Um, the lady that had the... Uh, I don't remember its name either. This thing, the plasma core. And uh, the, her body is probably still there. Yep, it's right there. And we're going to go into one of these houses and uh, get blown up to smithereens. That's just how it works. So is this the one? It is the one. So that would be locked. Unfortunately, this is lock picking. This is where we are. Okay, so these these are... Are these unlockable? Or Oh, that, that's the one that was lock pickable, I think. Yeah, which means this one... Oh, it's right there. Hacking 85. Well, it's not needed anymore. Okay, we're definitely not gonna die immediately. I mean, we are. I don't see anything. Okay. Lock picking 60. Well, sounds like I'm changing that one. Right there. And a trapdoor. Hmm. I wonder if we're gonna find a key for that. For the locker, I mean. Got a ventilation shaft, a few of them. It's fine. Okay, is it fine? Yeah. Okay, can't do anything with the ventilation shaft. Can't even look at it. Oh, can't even, yeah, I can't do anything with it. There it is. Because it's, uh... I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to consume an antidote. I meant to not consume an antidote. Also, while I'm at it, I might as well not get blown up. Because that is the life. Now, let's open this. It's shift 5. So, I can get into, into the habit of, of doing that. Where is this? I don't know. I saw something. Hi. Wow. Um, yeah, I can't do anything. Okay. Okay, please shoot me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Uh, now, you need... Uh, this is... This is pretty good. No, no, this is not... Well, it might be. I, didn't, I do need to... Mm. What can I do here? Cryostasis. Suspends a target in cryostasis. Does it need to be... A, yeah, I'll, I'll do this. Frozen. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know if it was gonna need it, uh, need to um, to be the uh, biological target or you know meat. So we got temporal distor distortion. That's for energy damage. Is this yeah, this is electrical? So they don't have shields. So I'm good. Uh, which means I do want to do that. But the thing is. It, that won't hit it multiple times, will it? Let's find out. It short-circuited. Well, that's kind of good. Let's move over here. Okay. So let's do... This. Immune. Hmm. Yeah, they're all shooting at me. Okay. Okay, I wish I had that now. I don't think this is gonna go well. Yeah. Let's try this again. And be a, maybe be a little bit more aggressive. Their incapacitation is nasty. Oh. Can I... Oh, it doesn't autosave in the middle. That's weird. Okay, shift five then. I wonder if I... Oh, I probably can. Uh, just look out and see if, the, the, if, if there's anybody out. I'll save here, for one. So, you look. You don't see anybody. Freaking hell, they were right there. Okay. Oh, they shot me. 
problem is they do the stun immediately after. Yeah. Okay, so being immune to all the mechanical damage is really great. Critical hit for zero. Are we good? Yes, we are. Uh, so what I want to do... What do I want? What do I want? Uh, I need... Temporal Distortion. So that would be a number five. That would be a number five. And then I move over here. Ooh. Got dazed. I did not expect that. Okay, let's try some more number fives. And I guess that's that. And now... That's a good kill. So temporal distortion on you. I think we'll be okay. Okay, can't can't do that again. Step to the side. The other guy's gonna be a bit of a pain. But it doesn't seem like it comes over this way. So maybe it's not gonna see me. Who am I kidding? Of course it's gonna see me. No tasing. Very loud noises, as always. But I'm out of combat. Good. Okay. Oh, there was a door over here? Ah, oh, I should have known. Oh, hacking 60. I mean, how much can I hack with this? Does it tell me? It should. Oh, 40. Okay. Well, I guess I'm writing it down. Hacking... 50. And it's just there. It's all the same level, apparently. Hi! Okay, well, uh, temporal distortion. I hope I regenerated, because I can. Being able to cast three of these per turn is actually pretty good. I think it might be. Let's find out how much damage I do with that. Okay, that sucks. I resisted it, though, in your face. Okay. Let's find out. So it resists a bunch. Oh, it does a lot of... Yeah, it does a lot of damage. So Carrie's Temporal Disruption does... 47, 55, 49. Those are the normal ones. Does it resist? Yeah, it does. It always is going to resist 6. So we're doing... Why is it only three? Why did it do three times damage rather than... Hmm, either way. That's 47 plus six, so that's 53. That's 61, and that's 55. So, yeah, 56 damage per every attack. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, which means, well, it's not per every attack. That's half of that, so that would be 28 per attack. Uh, but it does mean that it's more than 28 because I can attack three times. Whereas these ones... No, it's about the same. It's about the same. I don't know, it should be a lot more powerful than that. But it is good to have... I mean, it, it is good to have the option to use it. Because it's clearly very powerful against robots. Which uh, mitigates a serious shortfall of... Shortfall? Shortcoming? Sure. Uh, of this particular build, which is the fact that robots can be a pain in the butt. Because your only thing has a tremendous... Your only really powerful spell against them has a tremendous cooldown. And uh, it's also very hard to and finicky to use. So let's go in here. Check things out. Nothing going on. That's all fine and dandy. I'm sure there's going to be terrible enemies all over. And I'm going to open that. And I'm pretty sure that's all the same location outside. This keeps going. Save the game, just in case. We might get ambushed by a freaking super mutant rat hound. It is the land of the scrappers, after all. And this is a full-on room. Nobody's in here. But this is where we need to go. Lockpicking 40? How dare you. Okay, some interesting things. 
the 86 Stygian coins is actually pretty good. Thank you for the explosion. A laser pistol. That's nice. A mysterious disc. Oh, it is a disc. So it doesn't look like a disc. It is literally a disc. This mysterious dark green disc-shaped item. No, it's not disc-shaped. I mean, I guess it's disc-shaped. It's the... It's a disc. It's like... I mean... You're... <sighs> Is about the size of a dining plate. The surface is... So it's it's shaped like a dining plate. You could say that. It's a disc. Anyway. The surface is coarse, is coarse, but you feel very comfortable holding it. It might be made of stone or metal, but it's not cold to the touch. And it's surprisingly light. Cold to the touch. That is how cold works. It's kind of funny to think about that. Cold is not really cold. And something being cold or something being hot is not temperature. That's not. I mean, it is temperature dependent, I suppose, but it's not. That's not what temperature is. Temperature is a measure of thing. But if if like something can be extremely hot, but if it doesn't transmit that temperature to you, it's uh. Ooh. Strange calm device. I got one of those. Nice. Uh, if it doesn't transmit the temperature, it's not gonna feel hot. Then. Cold goes, it works the same way. Okay, this is getting, I don't like it. So, give me some of that. Am I regenerating? I am absolutely not. Okay. And then we have that door over there. Wasn't that door locked? Yes, it was. Which means that notation right there is irrelevant. And also I took a bomb for it, but it's fine. I think. Uh, Yeah, this is basic. Oh, I might take another one. Ah, well. Uh, let's not bother with that for right now. And I say that because we might... Be, I might be going back home um, to uh, to heal and to leave some stuff that I don't need. Also, to craft up uh, armor, because I, I want that. I, I mean, I like that I'm using this one for... This one is just amazing. But uh, So I'm like that I, I like that I'm using it. But where does this go? Right, to the only place that matters. Uh, oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Yeah, I like that I'm using it, but uh, I, I want the other one. So I can be Sire. Sire? Sure. Hi. Hello, Abram. Excellent. My little pet has settled nicely in its new home. How did you know? You're, you will find your money in Kareem again. Leave me now. I have much to do. Perhaps I will call upon you again soon. Hey, Kareem. Again, I have something that belongs to you. Yes. There, that I... Uh... He ends you. Okay, he did that. Thanks. I gotta get going. He'll be back. I will. 500 Sijin coins. That is a lot of money. He just wheezes through his mask. He doesn't say anything. Oh, no. Don't do that. Uh, you don't really want anything from me, do you? I got stuffed bat. That's nice. Don't like stuffed bat? How many? You need three food stuffs. Can mushrooms. Bio damage. No, no. I don't need that. M mushroom brew, though. That is a different thing. This is the skill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need that one. So, give me money. Uh, also trade. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, Mushroom Stew is the stuff. Apart well, Adrenaline is also pretty good. <laughs> and Morphine. Yeah, it's all ins, I suppose. So, we're here. Back to the Scrapper's place. Hello. He's not here either? Uh, still? Yet? Eddie, I mean? He's just gonna hang out with the dogs? Yeah, I, th I seem to recall that. Him hanging out with the dogs. So, I completed the quest for you. I think I'm gonna level up. Yeah. Yeah, I found the disc. It's a disc. It's not shaped like a disc. Here you go. Ah, I knew you could pull it off. Good job. I'll let the guards know you're allowed to pass into the old depot A. Just go through the back door over there in the HQ and turn right. I could use someone like you for another job if you're up for it. Come see me later. And by that you mean I can take your mushrooms. What, what, what did he do that for? Hacking 60. I might be able to do that right now. I don't doubt it, but I might. The thing is... I level up now. Ooh. Hey, Eddie. Yeah. So you mentioned you had more work for me? 
Yeah, since you're heading into the old junkyard anyway, there's something you could help me with. A while back it came to my attention that without my permission, the eels have been slithering their way into the old junkyard. I want to find out how they're doing this. There's probably a back entrance somewhere we don't know of. I'll pay you 200 charons if you find it. You up for it? Yeah, sure. I'll get to the bottom of it. Great. Let me know if you find any. Uh, found out any. I know. I know the way, and that's actually the way I was going to use to get in. Well, as it turns out, I don't, I don't need that uh, hacking after all. Hi. Uh, whatever it is you bought, I'll... Brought. Not brought. Okay. Yeah. No, oh, so that's how you go in. Yeah, I forgot about that. That's definitely how we go in. And uh, there's the red hounds on the other side, I think. Anyway, we're not going through there. Actually, I should go through there. I, do, I just need to level up. I just need to level up. And also, I... I'm... I don't know if I want to level up because of the crafting. So I am just showing up over here. Taking your barrel things. And saying goodbye. Because there's explosive barrels over there, which means we're going to use them. Maybe we're going to use them. We're probably going to... We're definitely going to use them, yeah. Um, so... From here, we can go... Where can we go to get to the, you know, the other entrance into there? Is it the slum? Is it is it over here? No, it's not over there. It's over here. And it's actually kind of close. Yeah, it's straight ahead from here. Okay. So now let's have a look. I have my notebook... Oh, notebook? Notepad. Um, metapad. On my second screen, or third, or the one on the left anyway. And uh, I will save just in case, and I will press S, which will show me my skills. It does, well, it's, I suppose maybe that's what it is for. And I have a, a, a will point, absolutely will. Uh, I have a feat, fantastic. Okay, actually, I have tranquility. I should note what I have already. I got premeditation, I, have, I don't have pyromaniac. I kind of want pyromaniac. Can I get pyromaniac? I can't get pyromaniac. Let's see. Where would it be? Maybe it's at the bottom. Let's see. There's probably new things that I don't know. So I need to look at the at the things that we have access to. Concentrated fire. No. No pyromaniac? Aw. Or is it one of those that I have already? And I... Psychosis... Pyromaniac, I have already. Good. Last, I'm very good at this. Last stand I have already. Thermodynamic dynamicity. Thermo... No, no, no. Pyromaniac, I have, I have access to. That's right. Hypothermia. So basically the new ones are probably going to be... Like this. Psychotemporal acceleration. Increases action point modification of all psychotemporal effects and things like that. Mental subversion. No, that's a normal one. Temporal, that's the one. Continuum Ripple. It, uh, 50, yeah, that's not very good. And so, yeah, those would be the new stuff. Of the ones that I have access to, obviously. Because I have a lot of it. So, Pyromaniac over here. Whenever you deal damage with your fire-based Psy abilities, you have a chance to set the target on fire, dealing 100% of that damage again over three turns. Which is super powerful. But honestly... And it is pretty powerful. It is pretty powerful, isn't it? Especially with a fireball. Yeah. Three turns is a long time. I need to kill people a lot. Hmm. Do I have thermo thermodynamicity? I do. I picked it up. Next one is ballistics. And I don't think I have it. Or I have it available over here. I say the next one on my list anyway. And I don't actually know what ballistics is. Because the names are super weird. There's so many of them. This should, be a, this should be a tree rather than... There it is. Carrier vests give three additional mechanical damage threshold when used in crafting. Which can be increased. That's actually really nice. So I'm going to need tailoring of 35. I, I have my notes, I think, somewhere. Uh, telling me how much skill, how many skills I need. Okay. They're here somewhere. It's the notes for the wrong game. Dang it. 
I don't know where they are. It should be around somewhere. Let me just... Uh... Oh, there it is. Tailoring 42, that's where I am at right now. So it's my intelligence? No. No, 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 no. Tailoring 42 is what we need to make that vest that we saw. Yeah, I'll go with ballistics instead of the other one. Because I want to do the vest. Uh, which do does mean that I will increase my my tailoring to what I need. So I will cancel the level up for right now because we're out of time for the day. But more importantly, because I'm going back home and uh, we will start next episode back home and then I'll come back over here uh, and do the and go into the, the depot. Hey, it's going to be fun. It's going to be amazing. But for right now, I'm Cradle RPG and this has been Underrail Expedition. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Like the video if you want to see the next episode come out sooner rather than later. But above all, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.